today we created what we call the Festa Feline. The first product that we're using is Stay Don't Stray Benefit. I just want to prime just to ensure that the liner is not going to run or smudge. I'm going to deposit a little bit on her lids. Using a blending brush, I'm just going to press it into her crease and into her lid and slowly work into her brow bone. Now after we've set the primer, I'm going to go into the Lorac Pro contour and I'm going to pick up on the light contouring color and I just want to shape out her eye. You don't really need to use shadows for this. You want to create an illusion that your eye is shaped that way versus you having anything on your lids. I'm going to go into the deep contour color. I'm just outlining the line and then I'll go in and blend it out. Using the same brush I used to set in the primer, I'm just going to go and overlay on top of the colors that we applied. I'm going to use the shimmer highlight with the same brush and I'm just going to hit it right underneath her brow. I am picking up on Bobbi Brown Black Ink number one and a Tarte brush. We're going to start from the edge of the eye. Now everyone's eye shape is completely different. We don't want to pull it so far back that it exceeds your eyebrow and you always want to lift versus make your eye droopy. This is your brow arch. You want it to be parallel to that. This is the best way to decipher where to place it. Now I'm only going to do whatever is closest to her lash line. Very thin line. I'm actually going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow palette. I picked up on dark brown and granite and what I'm going to do is with an angle brush just bring it in. This way you get a much softer looking effect and it's wearable at night or day. So I'm going to grab a brand new brush and I'm going to dip it in the color caramel of the brow powders. and. What I'm going to do is just lightly go over the top line that we created and I'm just smudging it in. I'm going to pick up Max Black Line and I'm just going to go underneath her eyes. We're going to make them appear larger. I want to make her eyes appear sparkly, so I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Pink Gold. Picking up on the auburn color from the brow palette and I'm going to smudge a little. This is going to open up her eye a lot more. We're using the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. So we are going to use the Red Cherry DW lashes on her. It adds a nice little wing at the end. We're going to curl your lash just a little bit. And the reason why we're doing this is just to attach your real lash to the false. So we are going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Setting Powder. And I'm going to use just a regular sponge. And I am going to tap it into just right underneath her eyes. We're just going to let the skin take in some and then whatever it doesn't, we'll remove it. Now I'm just going to brush this off. We're going to use Gerard Cosmetics Bridget and you can stop at the matte face but I just want to be a little bit more glamorous today. So let's just add a tiny bit, not too much on you. I'm actually going to use this color to highlight down the bridge of her nose, Cupid's bow and inner corners of her eye. Let's do a little bit of an ombre lip and we are going to use True Brown and Dolce and we're going to mix them two together. So I'm going to pick up on the darker color first and then we are going to use the Dolce Cape and we're just going to tap that in with your finger, blend that in. So with the darker color, I'm going to make a line down the center of her lips and in doing this, you are just making a powderier effect and it will help you blend in the ombre a little bit better. What do you guys think? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did glamming our beautiful model. And I'd love to see you guys recreate an ombre lip effect or even the cat eye using brow shadows. Please hashtag holidays with Harouche and I will be watching.